Today we'll look at how to infinitely loop a video in DaVinci Resolve. I'm in the free version of DaVinci Resolve 20, but this method will work with any version from the last few years. I've created a new project and I'm here on the edit page. I have this video of a car, I'll put it on my timeline, and I want to make it so it keeps looping. Now this video is actually a seamless loop. If I click it, I can hold Alt and copy it. I'll snap it to the end here. And if you watch when it plays past the transition, you can see that it's not actually going to jump. So it just plays completely smoothly. Usually well-designed computer-generated clips will behave this way. I got this video from Envato Elements. With the subscription, you can download an unlimited number of videos like this. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now you saw me copy this clip to duplicate it. And of course, one way to repeat a video is to just copy it repeatedly. So I could just select this here. I could hold Alt and Copy, snap it in. And we could just keep doing this. If you only have to loop a video a few times, that's a perfectly fine way to do it. But if you have a short clip that you want to loop for hours, like it's the background for some type of music video, you'll definitely want to find a better method. So let's see how you can do that. I'll delete all this. Now the way to do this is we can use a fusion composition. I know fusion worries some people, but this is about the simplest thing you can do with it. So to add a fusion composition, make sure you have the effects tab expanded. Just click this effects button there. Then click effects again down here in this menu, and you'll see a fusion composition. So click and drag it onto your timeline. Now you can make it as long as you want, and we can easily change it later, so you don't have to worry about the length too much right now. But let's just see how it compares to the original video. So if I go to the media pool, if I put the car movie under it, we can see this is the length of the original video. Let me just expand the fusion composition past it so we can actually prove that it's repeating. So you don't have to put this clip here, I'm just putting it there for comparison. Now with the fusion clip selected, there's the orange box around it. Let's go to the fusion tab. So I'll click fusion. And now we just do two simple steps. First, drag your car onto the node tree here. If you don't see the media pool, just click media pool there. So I'll click the car, drag it in. Now we take this gray output box for our media in and connect it to the yellow input area of media out. I'm just gonna make it so it's a single viewer. Now so far nothing has changed, but with our media in node selected, we can go to the inspector tab here, expand the inspector if you don't see it, and just click loop. Now all you have to do is just make sure this global in and out spans the whole area here. So just drag this right side to the edge. Now if we go back to the edit page, if I play this, you'll see that it actually keeps playing beyond the clip here. And it loops. And just to prove that we don't need this, I'm just going to delete it. All our information is in the fusion composition here. So we can make this fusion composition as long or short as we want. Now there is one catch. If I do make it longer, let's click and drag it here. And I'll play through here. You can see that it will stop actually showing footage. To fix this, just select your fusion composition. Go back to the fusion tab and redrag this global out to the new output length. It remembers the old value we had, so we need to give it the new value. Now if I go back to the edit page, it'll actually play through perfectly. Now currently this clip is about 35 seconds or so. What if you wanted to make it an hour long? Well, you can just right click on your composition, change clip duration, and here you can change it to be as long as you want. So this is the hour length over here, so I'll do one hour, and I'll just give it zero for the seconds and milliseconds. I'll press change. And now you can see if I zoom out, the clip goes all the way to the hour mark. It says two because my timeline starts at one. Now because, because I've made it longer again, I just need to go back into Fusion and make that change. So here you can see the global in out. Let's drag it, make it that far. Let's go back to the edit page. And now it plays perfectly at any point in that hour. So there we've taken a short video and easily made a one hour clip out of it. If you're new to DaVinci Resolve, check out my crash course video for beginners. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.